Fall 1965, we were in a commuter war. We kept to a schedule, like factory workers. Chopper in the bush for a day or two, chopper out. But we weren't factory workers. The war had changed, we had changed. We knew fear, we knew what death looked like now. We had a new mission now, and it wasn't to win terrain or seize positions. It was to get in, get out, intact. And it was to bring back some meat. We got some operation orders, at least something. I write you every day, but still we have no words. A letter would mean so much. Are you okay? Are you well? Is there enough rice? We miss you. I send you these pictures, both ancient and new, and love. My precious rabbit. Hey, Lieutenant! Found another one! Light bulb, Pascarola, I'll check out that hooch over there. Murphy, that's the same kid in the picture. Like us. It's always the young ones who die. Hey, look at this. Hey, pull them down. Let's bring them back for the body count. No, never mind, Sergeant. Forget the body count. This one time, it can go to hell.
Wait and bake. Wait and bake. Search and destroy. Take a hill, lose a man, give it up. Find the enemy. Can't find the enemy. Well, count the bodies. Can't count the bodies. Well, then count the arms and legs and divide by four. Where are they? The end of the fight is a tombstone white. With the name of the late deceased. And the epitaph drear, a fool lies here. Tried to hustle the east. Where are they? We are here, they are everywhere else. Jungle warfare. It's the name of the game. This is no game. Hugh John Sullivan was no game. Ned Coleman was no game. Even that VC kid, no game. Jungle warfare. You gotta play by the rules. Murphy, what are the rules? Learn his, forget ours. That the night can hide. The ground is home. This is his land. He's been fighting for a hundred years. Only a fool hates his enemy. Bronze gods are off to war. Where are you going? to go, not know where you are. Yeah, I couldn't get away. Come, on, come. I'm fine. This is great. What are you doing? Let me see. Cotton. They're like Aoyai. Oh, yeah. Of course. Well, you should be wearing them. <sighs> Cannot be. Here. Well, I'm here to tell you it can be. Here, tonight. tonight. You'll know where I am. I'll teach you. Yes. You can listen to this monster. I always know where one Harry Murphy McCloy is. Harry? Well, Murphy. First Lieutenant, 08742C13, third platoon, but you won't need that here. Oh. Now, one, two, three, four. Bohai Babun. Bohai Babun. Okay. One. When? That's close. Try it again. One. When? Almost. Watch my mouth. Okay? One. One. You got it. One. Oh. Two. It's close enough. Three. Four. Okay, now hold on. Five. Hey, who's teaching who here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> okay. Let's see, I've been had. What about the alphabet? Mm. A, B, C? Oh. Okay. Now, in the military, when you talk on the radio, the letters become words. So A, B, C becomes Alpha, Bravo, Charlie. Alpha, Bravo, tell me where you are. Night to go, tomorrow. If B 
be doing? It won't happen. Happen? Not to me. Tide in you now. God, he be doing. Walk bung chet. Then we'll beat fate. never lost a war. General Moreland Rupert, he knew that. He knew he never would. He believed. And he kept his distance. The fog has lifted. The weather report is good. Operation Big Poke is now underway, gentlemen. Three companies strong. The first such operation into such deep enemy terrain. This is it. The manpower is there. The firepower is there. We will engage the enemy, we will put him on the defensive, and we will move him out. Are there any questions? Waiting. They gave you time to think. We were taught how to survive, how not to be a coward, not to never to retreat, but not how not to think. And that could be the worst thing an infantry man could do. Hey, come on, cut that out. Take this. Shape up. I ain't gone. Hey, what'd you say? Something wrong with you? Hey, come on, cut that out. What's wrong with you, you maggot? Hey, come on, get back in that line. Come on, get back in that line. Get your hand out of your mouth. Get back up in that line, you hear me? Oh, 
Joy's platoon came in first, and this LZ, Red Smoke, incoming. It was hot. They had to hold it for Cohen's platoon coming next, and hold it while they got off the LZ, and hold it still for my platoon coming last. The mortars came. Sounds, man, all these jungle sounds, they just bug me, man. They aggravate me. This rankle, itch, chew all down on me, man. All these damn roots breathing, these bugs crawling, all these leeches bloating in your legs and the ground exploding around your legs. Everything's green, man. Green patties, green uniforms. Green mountains, light green, olive green, dark green, puke green, lemon green, lime green. Hey, Bob, shut up. We got movement. Less than 100 yards up. Charlie? I'm checking it out. Possible contact ahead. Pass the word. Possible contact ahead. Platoon sergeant up. Possible contact ahead. Whoa! Whoa! Easy does it, Marie. been looking all over hell and back for you. Let's 
Charlie, sir. It's about 75 yards up or closer. Are you sure it's not third? There ain't no way. I saw them, sir. the defensive. Tremendous progress has been made with only light resistance encountered, and the weather report is still good. What about losses, Jim? I'm glad you asked me that question. The scores are up, but I can tell you, as I've been out there, those Marines are in a good mood. Their tails are up. The morale is excellent. Excellent. Excuse me, General, but I'm looking at this uh, recap here. And I see 28 killed in action, 11 missing, 64 wounded. Are these men in a good mood? Is their morale excellent, General? Those are my boys out there. And I can assure you we're doing everything we can for them. I thought there was only light resistance. Exactly. Exactly what, General? We have the enemy exactly where we want him.
were past feeling anything for ourselves, let alone for others, we exploded. A platoon of disciplined Marines disintegrated into a rampaging mob. talking about lieutenant i just found an ammo dump in there sir there's no way i'm gonna leave that for charlie sir fear by inflicting it on others. We learned just how brutal a 19-year-old American boy could be. I wanted to be with my men. We'd been out there. I wanted... I wasn't sure any longer. A little crazy. That wasn't why I was transferred. There is no why. This is the Marines. Off I went to 3rd Marines, 9th Expeditionary Brigade, Regimental Headquarters. A staff job, papers, reports, pins on a map. I didn't want it, but I couldn't change it. Some guys didn't understand my disappointment. And neither did I. Welcome to the office of the Assistant Adjutant, the Regimental Secret and Confidential Documents Officer, Regimental Mess Officer, and Regimental Casualty Reporting Officer. I'm all of those. How can I do all that? You're not a Saigon commando? There you are. The workload isn't more than two or three hours a day. Shuffle papers. All 13 copies. Couldn't one of the clerks handle these duties? I know, Lieutenant. Regulations call for an officer to handle these duties. All right, couldn't Captain Cole to handle them? And that's what the assistant adjutant is here for. So the captain doesn't have to handle him. Just a puggy little jobs officer. There you are. Congratulations on your transfer. On my way, Lieutenant. Assistant Adjutant, sir. Here are my orders. All right. Show your orders to Captain Gold. Well, he's at brigade, sir. Come with me. that it's right. Casualties, body count, kill ratio. Up to date, no mistakes. Want to look at this board and know how my men are. Yes, sir. Well, this 
this ring don't do my horseshoe fit. Back it. Crowd one alpha. Wait, one. Round one alpha, are you there? Round one alpha, are you there? Round one alpha. Mark alpha, we got four friendly casualties. Are you ready? Round one alpha. Ready. Anderson, alpha, November, Seltzer, Echo, Romeo, Sierra, Oscar, November. First name, John. Who is this? W.S. Whiskey. Dramatic amputation. Niners, don't they ever make the spread? Is this up to date, Lieutenant? Yes, sir. All last night's watch reports? Yes, sir. 185, 607. Those are yesterday's totals, Lieutenant. You forgot the sum. Where's the body count and the kill ratio? Yes, sir. That done for the football team. Get me Corporal Beckett. Yes, sir. Beckett, sir. Corporal, how come my horseshoe pit isn't dug out? We're working on it now, sir. Well, I don't care, Corporal. I'm going to be pitching horseshoes this afternoon. Is that clear? Affirmative. Aye, aye, sir. Putting you in charge of seeing that's done, Lieutenant. Who the horseshoes, sir? Both barrels. The pool, the horseshoe, and the volleyball court. Are those VC numbers verified, Lieutenant? Verified, sir? All numbers are verified, Lieutenant. That's your job. Yes, sir. The new I made the ball. I understand we got four BC last night. Yes, sir. They've been verified. Well, where are they? They're at the body dump, sir. Lieutenant, I want you to line those bodies up over the command post. General Rupert's on his way over here to be briefed, and you'll want to see him. Sir, in a couple of hours, those bodies are, are going to be pretty ripe. I also want the clerks and the cooks to be there to see him, find out what it's really like. Begging your pardon, sir. Couldn't we just bury the poor bastards? I think... Lieutenant, I think what you think doesn't make any difference at all. I'll tell you when you can get rid of those bodies. Yes, sir. And I want them lined up over there at the command post on the double. You understand me? Yes, sir. Move! Yes, sir! Yes, sir. Don't put those weapons over there in the corner. Put them over here on the table or on the pole where we can see them. Yes, sir. Those bodies here yet? No, sir. Let's get them. Yes, sir. And hut. General, how was your ride, sir? It wasn't supposed to rain, Major. Where'd you get this map? It's uh, it's brand new. We we had it specially designed. It's outstanding. Excellent colors. Excellent. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you. What do we have here? Uh, we ran out of toothpicks. Uh.
has more access. I go up there, get a couple of those buckets, wash these things down. Yes, sir. The general wants to see them. Lieutenant? What the hell are these bodies doing here? Major Ball ordered them, sir. You got them verified? Yes, sir. Well, let's not be ghoulish. Get them out of here. Yes, sir. Smell. Yes, sir. All right, you heard him. Let's get him back to the dump. Get the head. Get the head. Get the head, man. Get the head, man. Lieutenant! What the hell are those bodies doing in the back of that trailer? Get them out here and line them up right now. The general's gonna be out here any second. Where are the cooks and the clerks? Lieutenant, I said get those bodies out here right now. I am the regimental casualty reporting officer. I am the officer in charge of the dead. Therefore, I am in charge of these men. I will take care of my men and they will do what I say, sir! Lieutenant, I want you to... Jane, hey. We have four VC bodies to present to you, sir. Excellent. Good work. Bury those bodies, Lieutenant. Aye, aye, sir. Assistant adjutant? That's right. How are the results today? What results are those? Did we lose another Marine today? How many? Five. I just hope these boys are dying for a good reason, Lieutenant. All due respect, Padre, I don't want to talk about casualties. I've had enough of them. I hope none of these boys are getting killed because somebody wants a promotion. I wouldn't know about that. I'm here to eat, not talk shop. Well, shop or no shop, I saw that show you pulled. I don't want to talk about it. When we got here, we were just supposed to defend the airfield a while, but now we're in this war to stay. No one has been able to explain. You see, I think these boys are getting killed for nothing. I don't want to talk about it. I'm talking to you about it. And what do you want me to say? Five isn't as bad as World War II. What do you want me to say? This isn't World War II, and I don't care. I don't care if it's five, or fifty, or it's five hundred. It's wrecked homes, it's cut off lives, and it's suffering. Well, good for you, humanitarian. You want to sing me your song, man's body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Have respect for the dead, amen. You think I like what I did out there today? You think I got a big kick out of this sky pilot? Patrol in the vicinity of Benang, not so. Lieutenant? 
Need a vehicle? Run her away. As you were. Sit down, Corporal Kazmarek. What are you doing? Was this Van Kopp, Lieutenant? The Van Kopp. Jerome Van Kopp, the artist. I do my best. Nobody can polish, tighten, or rewrite like this man. He writes recommendations for acts of valor. He's uh, winning the war. This is, this is true. And I also write home to families. Officers do that. I am their ghost. I've been a lieutenant, captain, a major. I was even a colonel once. I used transmogrify, egregious. Tonight I use excellent. Is this man serious? That cop is all my work. Done. No, you're not. I've got five more for you. Tonight, tonight. An artist's work is tiring work. Got any commendations to write up? I know a few I'd like to write down, not on. How can you say that? This is a serious business. One officer in charge of the dead. <laughs> Caputo, PJ. USMC. General Merle Rupert. Excellent. The entire regimental HQ. Major McDonald. <laughs> yes! Excellent. Practice? Sharpens the technique. Tonight, Major Ball wins. The Silver Star. In Van Cott's typewriter? No. In a tenacious firefight. In the worst of monsoons. No. Uh, there's only a jeep and a driver. A Corporal Kazmarag. Without other No. Car. Leading a rescue mission to a crashed helicopter. Excellent. Single-handedly. Fought off an entire regiment. Yeah. Without personal consideration. And rescued them from the erupting flames. Excellent. All the dangerously wounded. Excellent. And... Uh, Barbecued ribs and fed them. In the best tradition, done. The Silver Star is highly recommended for awarding to Major Theodore T. Ball, service number 39788914. Breaking his own cover and camouflage, leading the rescue mission personally, Major Ball, despite intense shock and trauma from relentless fire, rescued the pilot and then returned and successfully evacuated the wounded crew from a severely damaged and burning helicopter. A single-minded action resulted in the saving of these men's lives and was achieved under the most difficult condition of enemy fire with complete disregard of his personal safety. Major Ball's heroism, his personal courage and devotion to duty reflect the highest tradition of the army of officers and the United States Marine Corps. Lieutenant. I need Lieutenant Caputo. You find him in a colonel's officer. Thank you. Is this the real PJ Caputo? Glad to see you. The real one, you're not going to find him here. What's all this? Well, you want some coffee? Yeah. Let's see, I am officer in charge of the football pool, officer in charge of the horseshoe pit, <laughs> officer in charge of the volleyball court. Lieutenant B.J. Pogue. <laughs> That's right. And there's more. 
And listen, I'm an officer. I do what I'm told to do. I know that. Toilets. No, uh... No? That's the one thing I'm not in charge of. But believe me, if they had toilets in Nam, I'd be officer in charge of the toilets. Care to step outside? What is the sudden fixation you have with toilets? I got a six-by full of toilets, urinals, heads, johns, enough for the city of Rochester waits outside for Lieutenant Colonel Summers. Walter Chamberlain Cohen. Officer in charge of toilets. Now you got it. <laughs> Colonel Summers is going to sanitize a model lab with my friend, hearts and minds. Sanitation goes hand in hand with victory. Operation Big Flush. Care to step outside? No. What is this? What is it? Some addition, subtraction, ratios. Do you do this? There it is. What is it, a scoreboard? We come to fight a war. We come to save people. And people die. Your friends die. And it's toilets. Well, I'm very sorry, but I won't accept this. This is not what it's about. Toilets and numbers. No, sorry. Sorry. I won't accept this. We're not here for this. Anymore. Our country's not here for this, man. Oh, wait. You know something? Your Phil Caputo imitation. It's improving. I know. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna win this yet. It might be a long war. Not the war. Not the war. Over the insanity of it. But toilets, they wait. Got to go. Cannot be tardy. Mr. Caputo, this area is a mess. <laughs> I suggest you police your area. Yes, sir. Take care, General. Finish up here, sir. I'm not asking, Lieutenant. This is an order. It's game time. Yes, sir. Move it. Yes, sir. Now. Yes, sir. GSW, gunshot wound, through and through, abdomen. Multiple fragment lacerations, traumatic amputation. WIA wounded in action. DOW died of wounds. KIA killed in action while on patrol vicinity of the name RBN. Machine gunner killed us to a close range last night. Took a cool head. Good for him, not good for us. See the wire there? Yeah, I see it. Wouldn't stop a child. Charlie's coming, Lieutenant. I tell you, they're coming. I tell you, no one else is noticing, but I am. Charlie's coming and no one's listening. Even the French dug in. Get over there! 
three, this is six. What the hell happens? I don't know, sir. Well, find out, damn it! Caputo! Caputo! Oh, Your combat is charge of that sector! Right, get those men fighting! Lieutenant? Carry on. Are you keeping that old scoreboard up to date? Yes, sir. You sure? Are you positive? I was just out there. Not any more enemy count? Not any? No, sir. Well, nothing like Guadalcanal, Lieutenant. 90% casualties, and we kept on fighting. I'm having trouble sleeping. Just the shelling, sir. No. Nightmares. Got 170 men in a company, and in less than a week, we lost nearly 40. I don't understand it. What's happening? The numbers keep getting bigger. There's too many casualties. My boys are taking it. More coffee, Colonel? I have been expecting you, Lieutenant Caputa. Puto, sir. I'm giving you first platoon, Mr. Caputa. They have been without an officer since Mr. Cohen got himself killed. Yes, sir. I asked to be transferred. You'll have Mackie and Pascarella from your old platoon, and I expect that you will run a tight ship, Mr. Caputa. Puto, sir. You will find that I run this company quite differently from Captain Peterson. 
There is no slack here, Mr. Caputo. Sir, I asked to be transferred. That will be all, Lieutenant. You just want to get back into it. And the mind has to be clear and sharp. Walter. Yeah, I know. I verified his body. It wasn't so bad. I also typed up the report. I know what traumatic amputation means. I wrapped him up. It wasn't so bad. It was just torn up. Torn up? It's not so bad. <laughs> it wasn't grand. Light bulb was worse. Light bulb? He was out there. The debris, the corpsman. He went after him and he took it. Now there were two. And Cohen. So damn decent. Never leave your wounded. Pulled himself up. He got there and was bringing Dupree in. Carrying him and dragging light bulb. They wasted him. He didn't need to come back. Oh, I needed to. It's getting tougher, PJ. So, be easy. I'm not here to be easy. I'm here to kill somebody. <laughs> I've got me my very own brand new nylon camouflage super damn special forces jungle hammock. I am ready. Luke the gook is gonna die. Because I'm the world's greatest jungle fighter. Mac, you is the world's greatest maggot. You give me a lip. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> Zapped, greased, hashed by the world's greatest jungle fighter. I am bad! I'm a killer, man! Can you dig it? <laughs> Mackie! Get in here! <laughs> yes, sir. What are you doing and what are you wearing? You see, I got this from... Take it off and get into proper uniform. But this is it, sir. You see, I bought this from Alert. Take it off. And if you are so adventurous, stop talking and start doing. Yes, sir. Corporal? Sir. Clean off that face and shave it. Yes, sir. And now, Mr. Caputo, on this patrol, I would like you to find the enemy. I would like you to make contact, and I would like you to maintain it. Any Marine who gets a confirmed kill gets an extra ration of beer and the time to drink it. Now, is that clear?
Carbon off. Give me a medal back. Give me a medal back. Charlie Axel six. This is Charlie one. We got men down. Gasparilla. A whole squad passed by this way. What the hell happened? What was it? We got casualties. First men detonated, sir. And hey, where is for us? First patrol. Oh. <laughs> Sir, Medellin's got a bad chest wound. 50-50 fast. Come on! Lots of men down, six. Mine. How many men wounded, Lieutenant? Give me that thing. Six actual, this is Charlie, one actual. I need the medevac right away. I got seven men down. From a single mine? Happen. I don't know, I'll tell you later. This thing got two, maybe DOWs, I get those birds. I want those birds, six sexual, I want them now! A little detonated cord. I've fallen leading right back towards our favorite village. No BC. Yeah, yeah, okay. What's your name? Name. Name? Leon. No VC. No VC. VC, VC, yes, out there, VC, there, there. They shoot at him and him, bang, bang at me. They got Viet Cong Kung. No VC, no. Get out. Get out. The dong? That kind of looks forged to me, Lieutenant. But then again, what does that mean? You know, hell, sir, he just might be nothing but a little draft dodger. No, VC. No. No. I keep questioning. Where are the VC? Woman, the VC, out there, out there, they shoot at him. Bang, 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 all of us. Where are the VC? Woman, you know, you're lying to me. How many? Mo, hi, Lam. To go with? Look at these hands. Look at them, they're soft. Got a callus on them. You're lying. You silly bitch, you better tell me where they are. Look, yeah. To go, go, man. To mommy. What the fuck? 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 Look here, sir. Hey, you know, this ain't netting us anything but sour owl squeeze. Shoot. Let's have a smoke. Come on, Luke, then. Christmas ceasefire. 72 hours. Hat up, get on back, Santa's coming, Merry Christmas. If we get back, no more rice balls. A little real food. All right, six, five, turn up, turn up. All right, Charlie, hit me. Hit me, come on, hit me. Hit me! Come on, Charlie, hit me! You ain't got a hair if you don't take a shot now! Screw you and screw your uncle home! Do this whole damn thing! Hit me!
Captain. Sir. Remember Ledong? Our informer? Oh, yeah. Ledong. Well, we saw Ledong again. Port in Ledong. Two slopes over in Hoi Vuk of VC. The older ones. Sappers, you know. Booby trap artist. Like the one that dropped nine of us. Little dude even drew pictures of the weapons. Check it out. Maybe a truth teller this time. How may be. How for sure. Banking on it, sir. Banking on it. All right, you know what to do. You set up the ambush. Nobody comes to the killing zone. Go in the village and you get them. You get those VC. Snatch them. Snatch patrol. You bring them back here. If they give you any problems, kill them. Lieutenant, we're not supposed to be in the village. What do we say if we, uh, if we have to waste them? He said he walked into the ambush. Don't you sweat that, Mackie. I say go. This is our farm. This is independent action. Charlie, one actual. This is Charlie, two, one actual. This is two actual. Go ahead. We're going in. Okay, go. Go. <laughs> Proof, no document, no no paper, no nothing. That, that other guy, did he have anything on him? Like a weapon, a document, did he have anything on him? No, sir. Nothing. 
Are you sure this is one of the two Ladan pointed out? in my face and he broke his leg and I wasted him we wasted him this gorilla yes sir as far as I know sir he was escaping sir and Max shot him the hell you mean hey hey hold it down hold it down that's an order that's an order hold it down hold it down that's an order that is an order That's Ladon. That's Ladon. You shot the kid. You shot the kid. Oh, man. Listen. Listen. Listen, you never went in that village. You never went in that village, you understand? You never went in that village. You walked into the ambush. No, you never went in that village. Period. You understand me? You understand me, Pascarelli? You never went in that village. Start again from the beginning. Only this time, you tell me what happened. Yes, sir. We set up an ambush. It went wrong. One man was killed. Another man was captured and killed when he tried to escape. That's all. That's it. Yes, sir. Did you order these two men snatched? It was an ambush patrol that went wrong, sir. Did you personally kill these men? No, sir. Did you order them assassinated? No, sir. Did you tell your men to stick to their story? No, sir. That's all. Yes, sir. Well, excuse me, sir. I, I did say if the ambush failed, we would go into the village after the VC. But you didn't tell them to stick to the ambush story. No, sir. Okay. Let's start all over again from the beginning. Did you order them assassinated? No, sir. Did you tell your men to stick to their story? No, sir. But you didn't tell them to stick to the ambush story? No, sir. Sir, good morning. Can I speak with you a minute, sir? Yes, Lieutenant. I would, I would like to amend a part of my statement. In what way, Lieutenant? The part... The part where I said I didn't tell the men to stick to their statements. That wasn't true, sir. I, 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 was, I wasn't thinking straight, and I would like it deleted and replaced with the truth. The statement was made under oath, Lieutenant, therefore... Can cannot be deleted. That's the law. If you wish to say something else, fine. But the original statement remains in the record. I see. Well, sir, after I saw that body, I did tell Mackey and Pascarella to stick to the story about the ambush. I see. Come with me, Lieutenant. Specification one. In that first lieutenant, Philip J. Caputo, did subscribe under lawful oath a false statement. Specification two, in that first lieutenant, Philip J. Caputo, did murder with premeditation the Dome, a citizen of the Republic of Vietnam. Specification three, in that first lieutenant, 
Philip J. Caputo did murder with premeditation Tran Van Yan, a citizen of the Republic of Vietnam. Murder? Killed, yes. But murder? That's the charge. They can bring a firing squad. But this is Vietnam. Nam. The damn green. This is war. Where you can't tell who is who. Where there's no line between legitimate killing and illegitimate killing. There are free fire zones, there are body counts, and I've been here 11 months and 18 days, and do you know what's going on out there? That's irrelevant. It's relevant to me. It won't be to a court martial. But why? We didn't kill these guys in Chicago. Not Jermaine. There's a feeling, a state of mind, and it creeps in. I don't want your state of mind or philosophy. Facts. The case will be tried on facts. Did you order your men to assassinate the two Vietnamese? No. Did you say they were to capture them or to shoot first and ask questions later? No. But, but uh... I did give them the impression that it was not with words. It was a feeling, a violent feeling. Feedings aren't admissible evidence. I'm not worried about your psyche. I am. Did you or did you not order your men to commit an assassination? They would never have come to me. We would never have gone if it weren't for this war. Forget the war. The war is inadmissible. If you ordered an assassination, tell me now. What if I get off the Mackey and Pascarella don't? Do you want to plead guilty to murder? No. Why? It wasn't murder. Whatever it was, it wasn't murder. If it was murder, then half of the Vietnamese killed in this war were murdered. You did order an assassination? No. Then you're innocent. I am? Right. You gave orders to capture suspects who were to be shot only if necessary. That's a lawful order in combat. So whatever you say. No, not whatever I say. Are those the facts or aren't they? Yes. Those are the facts. Fine. Because they are, you are innocent. Legally innocent. And that's what you'll say on the stand. Lieutenant. Sure, Sarge. Come on in. Pick these for you over in Wabang. Thanks. I was supposed to testify at this court martial. I know. I'm going to tell them what happened, Lieutenant. Why don't you tell me what did happen? I'm going to tell them the facts. I never pulled the trigger. I'm legally innocent. I don't know legal. And I don't know much about innocence. 
I do know facts. And I do know what I come to tell you. And Lieutenant, what went down out there, you should have never let that happen. who acted on the defendant's information. I did. I waited for dark and prepared for an ambush patrol. I gave the corporal specific instructions, and we laid out where we would set up the ambush outside the village. But, Lieutenant, you ordered your men into the village. Did you have the authority to give that order? I had the authority to ensure the success of the operation, sir. But did that include sending Corporal Mackey into the village? In the case of special circumstances, yes, sir. What were the special circumstances? Why, Lieutenant? Our platoon had had considerable attrition, sir. These men had been identified as DC sappers. So I gave the command. If the ambush failed, they were to enter the village boldly after the suspected Viet Cong. Boldly? Yes, sir. What do you mean by boldly? How do you define boldly? Boldly, with some thrust, a certain sharpness, offensiveness. How do you define offensiveness? Boldly. It may not have been boldly, but words to that effect. How do you define words to that effect? To the best of my recollection, if I recall correctly, boldly. Có mình quay không? What's DJ Caputo doing? He's waiting. Uh, never wait. It's dawn. Well, this is a court martial we're talking about. They're deciding Mackey's fate right now. I'm scheduled for tomorrow. Whatever the outcome. You should be damned, despised, and regretting nothing. Well, if I'm on trial for murder. Why not? I broke. Damn it! I cracked in half that night, and I... I'm never gonna break again. In half? In men. How do you know? After all we've been through, it can't. I don't know. I sit here every day, and men come in here and tell me their stories. There's this one sergeant. He told me about this little Vietnamese boy. This kid ran out in the back of the truck he was on. He was going to throw a grenade in it. Nobody wanted to pull the trigger. There's no canopy. You know it's going to land in the truck, and there's not a thing you can do if he throws it. So you just cut loose. And the kid went down, and it went off with him. But this sergeant, he sees it every day. He sees the kid's face. Come with me. Extended my tour, but no more uniform, no more platoon lead. Liaison to the popular force. We can do 
what the Marines can't. No more bureaucracies, no 13 copies, no systems. Just men fighting together. Who knows, maybe being a mercenary would be the ideal life. Splendid little wars. How about it? No. It's not for me. Not anymore. Well. Miles to go before I sleep. on Mackey. Not guilty on all counts. Just hang loose. You go up at 0900. How do you feel? Well rehearsed. There's an alternative. I think the general is thinking of dropping all the charges because of the acquittal. Why? They want to be rid of it. I'd like to be rid of it. I think if you plead guilty to the third charge, the line under oath, and accept a letter of reprimand from the general, there wouldn't be any court martial. Unless you want one. You want to fight it? If I plead guilty, I'll be found innocent. Seems to me that's the truth. What do you think? Plea. Guilty. So young, so clean, just arriving. But the silver coffins and I, we were leaving together. learned all about death too early too quickly for me the war was over yet it was not to let go it would ride with me I had survived but that was my only victory <laughs> 